Hello everyone. Now we will go for one more string operation in this video. In this video, we will go for the string operation that is split. Now, what is split string operation? Word itself is saying we will split the string. We will divide the string with the help of concatenate. You combined the strings, you combined the individual strings, but with the help of split, you will divide the string. You will divide the strings into individual, individual parts. Now, just think if we want to go for split, if we want to divide the string, what should be the prerequisite? We should have a recognizing thing. We should have a recognizing separator that we will divide the string at this particular separator. Suppose I am saying we have welcome dot to dot home. So we can divide the string at dot. So it's a recognizing thing for us. It's a recognizing value. It's a recognizing separator for us. Suppose I am saying welcome slash to slash home. So what is slash? It is a recognizing thing for us. It's a recognizing separator for us. So whenever you want to go for split, we should, we should specify that we want to divide the string and we want to split the string at this particular separator. So for the split separator is compulsory, compulsory. Else system will confuse at what position it has to split the string. Now, what we will do, we will do the practical of split. Then we will just compare it to the syntax, which is mentioned in that slide. Now we will go for second string operation that is split. Now in the previous video, your result, your combined result is coming into this LV underscore output. It means LV underscore output is, if I will show you LV underscore output is welcome slash to slash home. Now, can we do the vice versa here? Previously, we combined the string. Now, can we divide this particular string? We will divide this string. We will divide this result into individual strings. It means we will separate welcome will be one individual result. Two will be one individual result. Home will be one individual result. So we will split this string into individual string. So what I will do, I will declare three individual variables. And once we split, the result will go to those individual variables. Why I am declaring three separate variables so that you should not confuse at this point of time. Suppose my first variable is LV underscore. I'm saying result one, suppose LV underscore result one. Type C. I will specify the length. I will go for LV underscore result two. And type C. Now I will go for third variable declaration LV underscore result three and type C. So I declare these three individual variables. Now we will apply split. What is the syntax for the split? The keyword is split. Yeah. Now, which string you want to split? We want to split this string. Now, what is the separator? At what separator you want to split? So how we can give using at, at is a keyword. And whenever we are dividing the string, what is the separator? Slash is the separator. So you are dividing the string 
using the separator slash and the output will go to individual variables into is the keyword and what are the individual variables lv underscore result one lv underscore result two lv underscore result three and i'm ending the statement using dot now our result is coming into these three individual variables can i write these three individual variables yes i will write right result after split now what is our first thing lv underscore result one second one is lv underscore result two lv underscore result three suppose if i want to go for new new line so i will put slash so that we will not confuse i will check the syntax and i will activate now for the best understanding i will show you in the debugging mode i'll put a breakpoint i will run desktop 3 this is our final string this is our string which we are splitting and but in which in what variables we are splitting after splitting the result will go to these three variable as of now these three are blank i will do f6 now i am doing f6 now you can see this string splitted into these particular three variables so lv result 1 welcome lv result 2 2 lv result 3 home now we are now we are displaying these three variables you can see welcome to home okay result after split is come is combined with this so i will use slash here also so that it will come into new line you can see this is the result after split so what we learned in this particular video we learned one more string operation split with the help of split we divided the string it is just opposite of concatenate the most important part is for split separator is compulsory recognizing thing is compulsory that at this particular place with the help of this separator you will go for split now if i will compare it to slide is this the same to same syntax so split split is a keyword string this is the string which you we want to split this is the string which we want to split at we used at we pass the separator we pass the separator we pass the separator as slash into is the keyword into is the keyword then we pass the individual variables we pass the individual strings in which the result will go so that's it in this video in the next video we will go for more string operations thank you